Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. In the last episode, we took on Danan Cave. We did it! We beat the battle tank, and I was still sick and didn't really realize it because I was sick. I uh, had to do a bit of extra editing for that one just to make everything nice and kind of flow somewhat smoothly. But, you know, um, I guess what I'm trying to say is that I'm better. Um... Corona's still happening. I've never had Corona, just to be clear on that, but, you know, I was ill, and I wasn't feeling well, and Corona was happening, so that's more stress, which made me more ill, and, um, that's where we are. I, the world's kind of, you know, isolated for the most part, and I'm just kind of sitting at home making food a lot and trying not to be sick. But, uh, yeah, moving on with the story. I said story, but I really meant the episode. We're not doing story. Show me your wares. Your summer seeds and goods. We'll need one tomato seed. And one pineapple seed. Okay, up here on Mount Gigant. We are going to make use of these seeds. I think in this game you have to plant it like this. Okay, I was right, cool. And up here in the cave... There we go. I actually need some bluegrass, so I'm gonna run through the dungeon here to see if I can find more. Okay, here at the pharmacy, we're going to take one bluegrass, one indigo grass, one magic crystal, and one root to make the knowledge supplement. So before I forget, knowledge supplement, especially mixed concoction, increases intelligence by one. As you might have guessed, it's just the intelligence up item, and it has now been shipped. Okay, so we're going to be taking on these uh, little wizards? Embers? Something like that. I'm, I'm forgetting which one this is, to be honest, at the moment. But, um, I figure I should mention, it is the 17th, so it is Wesley's birthday. His favorite gift, his birthday gift, is orange juice. So, give that to him if you want to become his best friend. Meanwhile, we're just going to be taking on these enemies, trying to get a bunch of magic crystals. We have a lot of crafting to do in the future. We only have, like, four more items? Maybe three more items that we need to craft? For a pharmacy, at least. I could have destroyed that. I've actually been playing a lot of Rune Factory 2 recently, kind of doing it for the sake of, you know, the Let's Play and all that that I would eventually do, but also partly just because I need something to take my minds off things when I was sick. And it all seems to be going well. I'm just kind of having to deal with a bit of difference in how these games play. Rune Factory 1 is both a more difficult and easier game at the same time. Um, it's way easier to do a lot of kind of cheap things in Rune Factory 2, but your attack radius of the short sword isn't as great, and you, always, you also move forward, and enemies don't get so easily murdered, things like that. There we go. Dang it. I was really hoping. How did I think about it? Our HP is 711. Alright. I was just curious how high that actually went. Oh. Another magic crystal. Okay, so I ran the numbers. And I need a grand total of six magic crystals. 
since I've already used some before and it's actually less than I initially thought. Just because I don't have to make a bunch of Formula A's for things. I can buy those. Which, if I'd been smart, I would have bought them when I was in town, but I can do it tomorrow, it's fine. Oh. Magic Crystal. Dang it, I was really hoping another Magic Crystal. Water Crystal. I was hoping that was it. They love pulling that on me. I'll give you this if you don't take my magic crystal. And I'm like, no, stop that. I want your magic crystal. That's literally the only thing I want. Give me the crystal off the end of your staff. Yeah, give me your staff itself. No. Oh, these guys are being real jerks about the last one, huh? Give it to me, baby. Uh-uh, uh-uh. And that's all I needed. And now, with the rest of our day, we're gonna come up here and fight the demons. These ones are a lot easier to grind. They always just walk up and take the hit, even if they're just giving fire crystals for some reason. This is the day of the elemental crystals. I'm starting to think these guys assumed I was going after crystals. Because, you know, they've given me four, but none of their blood. And really, the blood's all I care about. Give me your blood. Can I really have gone this entire time without a single extra blood? Yeah, I guess this is the final one. Or, I guess this one is. That's lame. Alright, well... It's fine, I'm sure. To bed. <sighs> the weather is terrible today. I should stay indoors. Well, we lost a day to a snowstorm. I don't believe it affects any of the crops in the caves. If it does, then I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do, but let's head back to bed. Alright, oh, we're on holiday, which means I can't buy this Formula A's. That's some malarkey. Oh well. Yep, it doesn't seem to have affected the caves in this one. And we're back to the grind again. Okay, so I actually need one more magic crystal for shipping, but that's fine. Come on, devils. Give me your blood. There we are. Dang it. Did some more math, because apparently I was wrong earlier. First off, I need five devil blood in total for things, like, that I haven't done yet. I've already done a bunch of the devil blood stuff, so... I need one for shipping and four for crafting. Magic crystals. I'm wrong. I did not need six. I needed eight for crafting, I believe, and then one for shipping, so nine in total. So I still need three more. So whenever I run low on health, I'll head up there. I'll grab some more energy. I'll kill a bunch of those little wizards, little mages, little... It's not little emperor. 
I don't think it's a little wizard, so that would mean a little mage. Really second guessing myself because they're all pretty much the same enemy but just different color variants. There we go, Devil Blood. I have two. So I have a total of three currently because I believe I have one on my shelf. Hoping I have one on my shelf. Okay. So I need three more of these. Two more of these. Nice. Much better than yesterday. There will be a lot less violence whenever, you know, they just give up their wands, essentially. Oh, it just sounded like a villain from Harry Potter. Dang it. Water crystal. Alright. Anytime now. Shaman pieces of crap. There we go. This is the last one. You can avoid all this death and destruction. I am about to rage. Oh, dang it. Give it to me. Give it to me! Don't miss. Come on, Raguna. I know you're better than that. Time for more energy. Oh, nope. Come on. I wish I was still actually gaining something from this. Like, you know, any kind of sword experience or level or anything, but in this one I've already capped everything, so I gain nothing from just mindless slaughter. My luck is extremely weird. I get what I need up until a certain point. Then I end up like this, where it's been like three or four hours and I haven't gotten anything except for a water crystal, which is not at all what I need. Well, messed up. Okay. These fire crystals are being mean. That's infuriating. <laughs> I am <laughs> actually getting like mm. <laughs> I'm getting actually upset right now. <laughs> Thank you. It's late at night and I don't want to have to scream. Let's see, was I right? Yes, I did have one. I have so many fire crystals. Not to mention the water and wind crystals. Gold. 
in the decoration, we're going to use two magic crystals and a piece of gold to make the pierced earring. And also in the decoration, we're going to use one magic crystal and a piece of silver to make the amulets. Decoration level increased. Into bed again. Alright, so first things first, let's ship the things we made yesterday. The pierced earring. These can only be worn by people with pierced ears. Level 1, intelligence plus 4. Amulet, a traditional cardian charm. I don't know why I had trouble reading that. This one gives 10 defense rather than the 1 defense that the pierced earring gives, and it gives 5 intelligence. So, you know, just in general, an upgrade. Devil Blood, the lifeblood of a demon, an important pharmaceutical, uh, yeah, pharmaceutical ingredient. I don't know why I had trouble reading that. And the Magic Crystal. Magic Crystals usually dissolve to be used on metallic items. There we go. And it's not early enough to actually buy stuff from the store, so time to water. Time to grab energy out of here. I need to check out your special goods. And buy one earring. Didn't the Empire retreat to their empire? Doesn't make sense why I don't actually read the name of the Empire. You're off to Greed Cave? You mean it's not over yet? They say it's most dangerous in the end. Be careful. Oh, so the Empire are in town. He seems a lot less worried than he should be, to be honest. This is the Lost Cave in Guardia. Raguna, thank you for your hard work. Take care. Okay. I'm being honest, I don't remember which one I played. I, I think it was the bottom left. One of these here. There we go. I'm attempting to speed up the crop process by doing that. If I do that for the next, like, five days or whatever, it'll cut off five days of my uh, growth time. If we come here to the pharmacy, and we take one Formula A, one Earth Crystal, one Insect Skin, and one Magic Crystal, we'll make the Formula B. And if we take a Formula B, an Earth Crystal, a Magic Crystal, and a Devil Blood, we make the Formula C, Pharmacy Level Up. If we use another Formula A, an Earth Crystal, an Insect Skin, and a Magic Crystal, we'll make another Formula B. If we come over here to the decoration, we use one earring and a magic crystal. Oh. I was very wrong about how many magic crystals I need, because as I'll show on screen right now, this magic earring I want to make costs four magic crystals. The website that I use for a lot of the recipes so I don't have to come in here every time is very very incorrect. That's why I had it written down as 16 magic crystals originally. It's because of this. I didn't realize that. So I need even more magic crystals than I thought. Fun. Formula C. Advances the growth of field crops by three days. You must sleep for the effect to work, so it's just a better Formula A and B, which the Formula B advances the growth of field crops by two days. You must sleep for the effect to work. So... If you do this one, it essentially takes one quarter of the amount of time, so if it would take 100 days, it would instead only take 25 days. Um, there, I believe, is a crop that takes 120 days, so you could finish it in one season if every day you poured a Formula C on it. It's not exactly worth doing, though, because it only affects one square of it, and, you know, it's just... It's real pain in the butt to make. I'd recommend just using an infinite number of Formula A's, essentially. It would take you 60 days to do that longest crop, but it's still worth... Formula B, one-third of the time. You can do the math. If we win this war, peace will be restored to this town. So, I forgot... And... Emily's gonna kill me. Um... I forgot because I was counting the days in my head, not based on the actual calendar, and I forgot that we lost a day in there. Sharon's birthday was yesterday. 
Yeah. I made a mistake. Um, Sharon loves relaxed tea leaves. Uh, they're easy to make at this point in the game. You can just go out there, make up some relaxed tea leaves, give it to her, she'll be really happy with you. Um, yeah, I made a mistake. I'll pay for that later, I'm sure. I'm sure I'll get chewed out. But I was really counting the days. Um, it's really not my fault that a wind, you know, a snowstorm came in and ruined everything for me. Start trying to get devil blood for this. There we go. Devil blood. Assuming I'm not missing something, I have all three of the devil bloods that I need currently. Oh. oh. Another fire crystal, of course. I was like, oh, an extra devil board. I could use that for grinding now. Now, of course, it will be a fire crystal. Alright. Magic crystals, here we go. Considering how stingy these guys are their magic crystals, five is going to be a pain to get. Magic crystal. We're actually changing gears. We're gonna talk to everyone in town real quick, starting with Mist. Well, the final battle is upon us, Raguna. I don't want you to die. It's said the Grimoires are only born every once every thousand years. No one has actually witnessed one. Is a grimoire on the verge of arising? Please, don't do anything dangerous again. I worry. Read the Whitestone Legend. Raguna, I know you'll do your best and it inspires me to keep working hard. Maybe it isn't over yet. The Empire hasn't given up yet? I heard there's also a god of booze! Uh, yeah, you don't talk about anything when you're here. Take care, Mr. Raguna. Please don't die. I haven't been able to sit and relax in the front of a good meal recently. Your opponent's said to be really strong. Take care. Hello. Will there be peace after this war? Go get him. Don't look back. You're too strong for him, I? Please, come in. Looks like they're still around. They don't know when to quit. Hello. The hour has come for battle. Let's give it our all. I want those Empire out of here pronto. I can do that. That's all the adults. I don't think the children will say anything about the dungeon, but, you know. Alright, Greed Cave. Um, I was actually expecting a intermission with Mist, but I guess that doesn't happen this time. Oh, here we go. What a beautiful cave! Yeah. This is the last one? I think so. Mr. Kuna, please don't get yourself killed. I won't. I'll head back now. Right, I think that's safest. Be careful. I will. An awkward situation where we were just kind of like, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think you have anything I need. Well, you probably have the Skull Witch I need, but I won't be fighting you at the moment. I want to call those Faust, but I'm not sure. Oh. Is this it? Yes, this is it. These are the Little Emperors. These are the enemy that I want to fight for now. I figure it'd just be more entertaining getting a different, you know, change of scenery for the moment. And to get a magic crystal. I have no idea if they have a better drop rate or anything. There we go. Um, I'm gonna... 
So I'm not 100% certain where, but somewhere in here there will be something I need to do. It's... Mm. I'll have to check that. Miss. Pretty sure those guys have glue. You know, the item that's useful for early game crafting that's only obtainable in the last dungeon of the game, because that's a smart way to do that. Okay. Also, I realized I didn't check the sign before coming here. I'll do that on my way out. Okay, so if I head down this one, then... Right. So these enemies are actually taking three hits now. Right, a little dragon. Okay. I'm not gonna bother trying to kill the spawners and everything. Okay, this is a place to grind up fairy powder, I think? Deal with that for a moment. Just really hoping to get some glue, to be honest. There we go. So, bluegrass is extremely important for potion making. It's a good way to grind pharmacy. So I might as well grab those while I'm here. Don't need to do that. Um, there we go. Even further down. Think that's for later. I'm gonna hope more spawns will happen if I do this. Yep, magic crystals are dropping left and right from these guys. And a knowledge supplement. That's fantastic. I'm glad these guys still died two hits. There we go. Time to heal up. Greed Cave. Unauthorized entry prohibited. Greed Cave Climate. Refreshing summer climate. Didn't say anything about the Mayor of Cardia. Weird. So, the weird thing about Greed Cave is that it's actually easy? It's a fairly short cave, you saw me earlier get to the end of the cave, but we couldn't do anything there. Like all caves, the boss door will not open until you actually beat all the spawners, but unlike other caves, there aren't any obstacles. It's literally just the spawners, but because it's not a boss door, it's a teleporter for this one. You have to beat all of the spawners on the trip that you're in there. There's no beating them all and then leaving, coming, you know, healing up and then coming back. It's all one trip. So be sure to bring potions. Be sure to be ready for the final battle.
Oh. Nice. Only two more. Okay. Rude? Or is he disrespectful? There we go. One more. Stop. Just stop. Get some help. These guys are being nature jerks. There we go. I think that's it. Let's see. Yeah, I have eight on me. We did it. Actually, while I'm here, I'm pretty sure these are the guys that can drop glue. I might be thinking of a different enemy, but I want to say it's these ones. Let's see. Gunpowder. It's a drop from them, yeah. Alright, I'm out of here. Here in the decoration thing, we're gonna use four magic crystals and that earring we have to make the magic earring. In the pharmacy, if we use Formula A, magic crystal, an insect skin, and an earth element, we make the Formula B. If we take a Formula B, use a magic crystal, a devil blood, and an earth element, we make the Formula C. And get a pharmacy level up. Here at the pharmacy, if we take a black grass, a white grass, a root, a little crystal, I think, and a medicinal herb. Yep, the heart drink. Same thing again. And again. And again. And again. That's actually all the medicinal herbs I currently have on me, but that's a good way to grind up your pharmacy level. My pharmacy is now 77. One last time, I'm gonna celebrate, ooh, oh yeah, another heart drink. So we're getting close to level 78. We need to be above level 80 if we want to make the highest level item, and we only currently have an 18% chance to make the second highest level item. Guys, next time on Let's Play Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. Um, I'm going to be going in. We should be taking care of more of the shipping list, fighting a bunch of the enemies in Greed Cave. We're at the end of the game. I don't have a huge amount left to do. I still have a, a couple side quest things I want to take care of, so I'll be taking care of those on my first available day. But starting next month, uh, so 10-ish games in day, maybe 15, I'll be done with the game. I'm just trying to make sure there's nothing left to take care of. There will be a bit of post-game stuff, but that's not something I can really help due to, you know, the phantom crops and some other stuff I want to show off. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.